Hello again YouTube and I'm back with a mini update on my uh, grid type, my micro grid tie inverter installation and my TED5002-G installation and um, right now I'm showing you the interface and uh, into the TED unit and this video is just a little micro update um, little mini update on the whether or not you know to show folks whether or not my system is actually installed right and is it working um, and it appears that it is uh, this particular uh, uh, screen here shows you two I have shows that I have two sources of power uh, one is my you see util that's a label label for it. that's coming in from utility and this is actually what I'm producing right now from uh, from my solar this is not a good video to show the efficiency of my APS micro inverter uh, because it's a sunny day uh, not a sunny day but it's a cloudy day it's been raining uh, pretty much all week and you know it's uh, 11:47 a.m. and on a cloudy day, so it's not really, you know, showing uh, if the true efficiency of the system because the weather weather is not permitting at the moment. But again, this is just to show you that the installation appears to be working. Um, the APS unit is transmitting information uh, with the TED 5000 unit. Um, you can actually get this particular web interface to sh show you like a dashboard of what you got coming into your home and also what you are um, you know sending back to the grid in this case I'm sending 166 watts it says 0.166 kilowatts but that's 166 watts uh, come you know 166 watts from a 400 uh, watt array um, so but it's a cloud again it's a cloudy day but anyway looking at here this means here I'm just consuming uh, 80 watts of power um, from the grid uh, from the utility and right now I have a router on, I have routers, uh, switches, you know, computer switches, a, a computer workstation. It's, it's pretty much a laptop, but it's a, a, a big laptop is with a lot of, that takes a lot of power. And an extra monitor. And I got some other stuff that's running in the house as well. Um, so right now, in conjunction with what I'm putting back into the house, uh, this 162 uh, watts, I'm consuming 84 watts of power uh, from the utility. Now, it also comes with this status page uh, that shows you, uh, you know, how many uh, MTUs or measurement transmission or transmitting units, um, basically devices that transmit the information back to something we call a gateway. Uh, the gateway is what receives that information, and the gateway is actually what I'm logged into on my home network uh, into this software called footprints um, so I'm logged into that uh, to see information uh, so apparently my installation is working as I hoped it would um, and I'm pulling I'm looking observing the data uh, as it happens real time uh, this is a really good tool like for instance you can look on the graphing and like for instance I can look at the hourly kilowatt usage um, you know based on the power source uh, that I'm that I'm uh, wanting to see or the power sources that I have I can look at you know uh, a daily um, usage I have, I have the ability to have a start date and end date I mean really good tool I don't want to go into any details because there's a lot of there's some YouTube videos or in some other stuff on the web that will show you exactly what the TED 5000 is capable of uh, but again uh, YouTube I just wanted to uh, you know let some folks know let kind of show them the interface and then later on as I get a really good sunny day I'm hoping to get a good sunny day soon as soon as I get a good sunny day I can show you the efficiency um, of the unit. I use this particular uh, software, the TED 5000, to uh, so far to show that. I mean, well, to to observe that the APS 5000 unit. Uh, I'm sorry, the APS YC 500 unit, the micro grid tie inverter that I have, um, at least on a somewhat cloudy day, it's come somewhat sunny day, uh, produced 89% efficiency. Uh, but the documentation says that this thing is supposed to be 99.5% efficient or something like that. But I'm waiting to see that.
Okay, that the jury is still out on that, so I'm waiting to see it. Now, the reason why I'm looking forward to a bright sunny day is uh, we have to answer a question, and the question is: Is it you know better to simply get one of these microgrid tie inverters that's certified? Um, that you that's safe to put on your roof and safe to put on your array and safe to run in your house is it better to get one of them or is it just as good to get one of the uh, cheap inverters uh, grid tie inverters that you can get off eBay for you know uh, you know uh, pennies from you know of what you can buy uh, I mean of, of some of these other uh, grid tie inverters like the string inverters or something like that but uh, it seems that from you know just spending a little bit extra you may get the you know more bang for your buck by just simply buying a, a micro grid tie inverter that's certified but as you can see from my screen um, it's 1151 and the watts that I'm putting back in the house is climbing so right now I'm at 216 uh, watts let's find out what I'm consuming and my home usage now I'm only consuming 32 watts uh, as far as my home so you know there is a definite benefit it seems uh, you know from you know, one having a software and two having some type of grid tie inverter connected to some solar panels in your home but again the jury is still out the jury is still out you can see my usage uh, home usage steadily decreasing you know as you know my my the, the power coming in from my grid tie inverter increases so um, you know it's fluctuating it's going back and forth so it's about 1152 again it's a cloudy day and um, this you know this is what I'm producing so uh, anyway YouTube this is just an update um, again you can you know I like this page right here the status page that comes with uh, that comes a part of the TED 5000 I can see the raw information coming in uh, and you can see these numbers here it, this says essentially you know this MTU this connected to my main utility this is I'm just you know consuming 74 watts right now and I'm producing you know it's fluctuating on MT, MTU 2 is the transmission the uh, measurement transmitting unit that's coming from my solar array and you can see it's the numbers are fluctuating and so it is definitely reading the information uh, so uh, for right now I really like the tool and um, I hope to get back with you soon uh, with an update uh, as far as the efficiency of the unit itself alright take care YouTube